Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, I'll be sharing essential tips to avoid getting blacklisted when sideloading apps with eSign, FeatherSigner, and Scarlet. If you've ever been frustrated by apps getting revoked or blocked, this guide will keep your sideloading experience smooth and trouble-free. So, let's dive right in. First things first, why does blacklisting even happen? Well, when using tools like eSign, FeatherSigner, or Scarlet, Apple security systems can flag your device or revoke certificates if you make certain mistakes. The key is to avoid triggering these security checks. Here's how to stay under the radar. One major reason people get blacklisted is turning off the DNS method while using these sideloading tools. DNS helps redirect requests to bypass Apple certificate checks. If you disable it, your apps are more likely to get revoked or blocked. So keep the DNS active at all times, even after the apps are installed. This ensures smooth operation and prevents blacklisting. Second common mistake is using free VPNs with sideloading. Many of these free services share public IPS, which are often flagged or blacklisted by Apple. If you're using eSign, Feather, or Scarlet, free VPNs will only increase the chances of your apps getting revoked. Another important tip is, stick to one signing method at a time. Avoid switching between eSign, FeatherSigner, and Scarlet frequently, as this can create conflicts with certificates. If Apple detects multiple certificates on the same device, it may flag your device and revoke them. Next tip is avoid overuse. Apple monitors excessive sideloading activity. If you sign and install too many IPA files too quickly, it can raise suspicion. So, be mindful of how often you install apps and space out your installations to avoid triggering security flags. The other tips which can help you prevent blacklisting is always use airplane mode when using the apps installed by eSign, Scarlet, or Feather Signer. And even if you want to turn off your device or want to restart your device, then make sure the airplane mode is on. Lastly, make sure to refresh your certificates before they expire. If you let a certificate expire without refreshing it, your apps will stop working and you may run into blacklisting issues when re-signing them. Now how to do reset if you got blacklisted? Simply open settings, hit on your Apple ID, then hit on iCloud, then save the data you want to save, then simply back up your data on iCloud. Once your data is back up, now go back to settings, then open general, then open transfer or reset iPhone, then hit on erase all content and settings. That will reset your iOS device and you will be good again to use sideloading apps with eSign, Feather Signer, and Scarlet. And that's it. Follow these simple tips and you'll significantly reduce the risk of getting blacklisted while using eSign, Feather Signer, or Scarlet. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or need further help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.